was the Edfu Temple discovered and restored? The Edfu Temple's significance and preservation were unknown until modern times, but excavations and restoration efforts unveiled its splendor. Throughout history, the Edfu Temple suffered from centuries of neglect, natural decay, and reuse of its materials by local inhabitants. It wasn't until the early 19th century that it was properly studied and documented. In 1798, during Napoleon Bonaparte's expedition to Egypt, a team of French scholars and scientists accompanied the military campaign. Among them was Levant Denon, an artist and archaeologist, who visited the Edfu Temple and produced the first detailed sketches and descriptions of its architectural features. Later, in the 1860s, the renowned French Egyptologist Auguste Mariette conducted extensive excavations in Egypt, including the Edfu Temple. He cleared away the accumulated sand and debris and revealed the temple's impressive facade and inner chambers. However, the most significant restoration and preservation efforts at the Edfu Temple were carried out by the Egyptian Antiquities Organization during the mid-20th century. Skilled Egyptian artisans and craftsmen were employed to meticulously restore the damaged areas and recreate the temple's original appearance. Today, the Edfu Temple stands as one of the best-preserved ancient Egyptian temples. Thanks to the ongoing efforts of Egyptian authorities and international organizations dedicated to its conservation. Subscribe to our channel and follow us for regular updates and exclusive content.